What is up everyone, Razor Will here, and I am here with more Soccer Santa. You guys liked the first episode quite a bit, and I decided, and I want, I'm doing a full playthrough of this anyway, so I'll screw what you guys think. That is, if you hate it, if you like it, then great, and you'll love this series. Let's just get into it. As I arrive at the shrine, I find that it's been well contained, even in the snow. It's very barren, though. There should be a priest around here somewhere, isn't there? Shrinder? Oh well, maybe I'm just, I'll just make my offers and sit here for a while. Awkwardly, I walk up to the box and throw in my spare coins. I don't even see a box. Did anybody see a box anywhere? I, don't know, I guess I must be seeing the boxes. Oh, I still don't see a box. I don't really know the formal ceremony for making an offering, so I guess I'll just pray here. Close my eyes, hold my hand together. What was he gonna say? I'd like to have a friend to spend Christmas with. Did it work? I, I have no idea if that actually helped or not. Well, that answers my question. I feel a bit better, I guess. Even if there is a, no such thing as the spirit, just doing this makes me feel. just as reassuring. That's when I hear the priest calling after me. And oh, I gotta get my open voice. Hello, what brings you here, young man? Oh, I just wanted to make an offering. It's good. Not many young people know, even know this friend is here. And we got to keep it all in order. The priest is an older man, and I couldn't help but notice he was hobbling a bit as he walked over here. Are you okay? What do you mean? Oh, you mean my leg. I injured it a while ago. It told me to rest, but uh, who else is gonna look after the shrine? I see. He feels obligated to keep going despite his injuries. No, I can't let him shoulder it himself. Do you need help with anything around the shrine? I'm not doing anything, so I have plenty of time to spare. If I help out with a harder task, maybe it'll give his legs some time to heal. Well, I wouldn't mind some help. If we pack, can you please help me shiver the, sh the snow off the path? I'm not talking that I My old man voice sucks. I'm not talking in that anymore. Sure, I can do that for you. Flashes a bright smile at me. Thank you. It didn't take me long to finish shoveling. The priest seemed delighted with my work. With this leg, it would take me twice the time. Listen, I, I don't want you to hurt yourself or anything. I'll come by every few days. Leave the hard stuff to me, okay? At least we're real. <laughs> at least we're helping the elderly. You're a very kind young man. I wish more people would be worried for like you. Like me, huh? I don't really think I'm anything special. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to you don't need to be anything special. Too many people overlook the same virtue of kindness. You know, that's actually true. Guys, do me a favor. Don't forget the virtue of kindness. It's a beautiful thing. So everyone like completely forgets about it and it's like, why do I even try? Why is anybody even trying to get the word out anymore? Well, oh, I hope you all, I hope you don't. Being a good person is more than enough. Yeah, that's an interesting way to look at it. <laughs> anyway, there's some other things I need to do. Sure, I'd love to. No, no, it's nothing that'll be too hard on this old body of mine. You've done more than enough for me. Please visit again sometime. Don't worry, I will. As he walks back to the shrine, I feel a little odd. Is it because of the whisper I made? Why was this suddenly so easy to talk to him? Oh well, I'm happy that I can do something nice for someone. As I walk away from the shrine, I hear some rustling beside me. Eh? Must be an animal or something. My curiosity gets the better of me. What's behind the bushes? Come on, we out! Do, do you see that rack? Do you see that rack? That's a beauty. And it's, is that box here? Box tail? Oh, I did think it was going to be an animal. I didn't say it out loud, but I, I did think it was going to be an animal. I wasn't wrong. A girl with bright, luminous eyes looks back at me. There's a distinct sparkle. There's no spark. The sparkles outside the... There's sparkles out off of her, but there's none on her. Wait, is there hearts in her eyes? Those are hearts in her eyes. She's giving me a completely sincere smile. But are those fox ears? I see a large, brightly colored tail swishing behind her. 
you are so cute. Well, that's the, that's the best thing to start with. That's the best starting sentence. Excuse me. You were so nice to the priest. He gets lonely, you know. I'm not always around. So he loves having company. As I look at her, my eyes can't help but slow her down toward her. Hey, where are you looking? Sorry, I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. I know you're a nice person and nice people. <laughs> well, alright. Any excuse to look to boot or any excuse to look at that ginormous rack is fine by me. Any excuse to look at <laughs> Don't you predict what I was gonna say? By the way, what's with the tail? Are you cosplaying her? Do you do you do you see how that there's no ridge between the ears? I don't think that's cosplay. I'm a fox spirit. Of course I have a tail. Fox spirit. I'm the spirit you made an offering to. I heard your voice loud and clear. You did. I'm assuming I said this in my head, so, uh, did you read my thoughts? Yep, you're in luck. I'll make sure your wish comes true. After all, you're so nice to the priest, so I, that means I have to be nice to you, too. That's how karma works, after all. I never really thought about that one. Me neither. She. I know good, I know what comes, goes around comes around, but this, this is a little bit too rewarding. <laughs> I thought you just did good things because it was the right thing to do. Oh, of course if you do nice things happen, nice things happen to you. Also, you said you wanted to have a friend to spend Christmas with, right? Yeah, that's right. You can read my thoughts. So you're feeling a bit lonely? I guess I am. Can I be your friend? <laughs> well, that was about one minute in, We are, and we already have somebody asking. <laughs> one minute of meeting her, and she's already asking to be our friend. What a great- I'm a great picker-upper. Her ears perk up, illustrating her excitement. You be my friend? I would might be. Well, I don't know if she's for real or not. Or if she's really a fox bear like she says she is. But honestly, I don't think I really care whether she's not- whether or not she's a fox bear. <laughs> I'll have another reason to visit the shrine if she hangs out here. Sure, I'd love to be your friend. And I'd love to be yours. Oh, we actually got the sprites, and we don't have to stick with the image over. Okay. Cool. My name is Akina. Hello, Akina. I don't know yours yet. I'm Koji. It's nice to meet you, Koji. Your ears start- Those aren't- That that means it isn't cosplay, because how can she move her ears like that? Will you be doing anything tomorrow? Tomorrow? Why are you asking? Tomorrow? I guess not. I don't have anything planned for this entire week. Then do you want to go- Well, that was- That was quick. Five minutes meeting, we are, and she's already asking to go on a date. Brilliant. Then, do you want to go on a date with me? A date? Why a date? Because I like you, why else? Well, that was straightforward. You're a nice person, so therefore I like you. That was really straightforward. Just like that now. How straightforward? <laughs> Goji read my thoughts again. Goji read my thoughts again. Well, that isn't really what I want. Oh. Not a date. Accept it, Koji. Accept it. Her ears and tail droop to the ground. She looks at me with those eyes. Her eyes look exactly the same. I'm quickly overwhelmed by guilt. Okay, okay, sure, I'll go. Okay, good. Thank God. That was the first second I thought you were, you were declining a date. No one declines a date unless, she, unless he or she hates that person. She probably why. I only really wanted a friend, but... It's hello then. We'll go on a date when you're free. I have some things I have to do and I need to do with the spirit realm. Spirit realm. Really? Make sure to say hi to Garadina for me. <laughs> so I'd rather spend the day with you, Koji. Yeah. Spirit realm. Right. I haven't really accepted the fact that she's supposedly a fox spirit. She's got fox ears and fox tail. What, what more evidence do you need? But honestly, I don't really see a big uh, reason to make a big deal out of it. I should probably get going, too. Okay, I'll see you soon, Koji. Just visit the shrine, and I'll be here. Anytime is fine, fine for me. See you later, Akina. She heads back toward the, sh toward the shrine, her bright red- That was orange! That was orange! 
orange. I'm not really sure what happened there. But it looks like I made a friend. Good for you. I guess I'll keep walking around town. Such a nice day. I'd be ashamed to waste it in my heart. I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm gonna split it into three three episodes because I know I think there's three girls with so three separate events. So that was Akina, and then there are like two more, I believe. So uh, I'm gonna cover those two in the next in the next two episodes. So thanks guys for watching this episode. The Green Zero here. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Waste my summer life.